Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. I want to welcome you guys to a new video. Today we're going to be talking about NBA 2K20 and the entirety of things that happened over the weekend at ComplexCon. Now, you already know the deal. 3K likes. Make that happen on this video, man, and I appreciate all the support. So, let's hop right into it. Over at ComplexCon, Ronnie 2K was doing a panel with uh, a few NBA players, brands, people, you know what I mean? Talking about NBA 2K20, don't really need to hop too much into that. But what they also did was they teased that they were going to release the soundtrack, as well as release a couple brands that were working with NBA 2K. Now, in today's video, we're going to be talking about mainly the brands that they're going to be working with for 2K20. As far as the soundtrack goes, I don't really want to deep dive too much into that. I can go ahead and leave you guys a Spotify link. I don't want to hop into it. I don't want any copyrights. I don't got time for that. You know what I'm saying? YouTube ain't going to be out here striking my channel down. But check this out. Another thing that I want to address. A lot of people wanted me to make ratings videos. They wanted me to talk about uh, what I think about ratings and, and things of that nature. They wanted me to literally do a reaction to every single rating. Um, Flight did a reaction to all the ratings, which was a hilarious video. I seen Trey's reactions to Flight reactions, which was hilarious as well. But this is a question for you guys in the comment section. I want you to spam one if you want me to do a ratings reaction and spam two if you don't want me to do a ratings reaction. I know that that ratings reaction stuff happened while I was down in Atlanta uh, doing videos with Agent and Davis and everybody like that. So what I want you guys to do, spam one if you want me to do a ratings reaction, spam two if you do not. Now let's go ahead and hop into the news about the brands. I'm going to go ahead and hop off camera because I want to show you guys my screen because I have all the websites open to every brand that's going to be working with 2K20. Let's get into it. All right, guys, here's the full list to all the brands working with 2K. There may be more announcements later but let's hop into these current brands all right so the first brand that we're going to be looking at today is union clothing what i noticed about union clothing was that it had many different brands within the brand itself so i'm guessing it's a a brand that's like somewhat like karma loop and stuff like that it's just a brand that sells like a, a bunch of different urban street wear brands funny thing is it even got dickies in here um in Philly, a lot of people still wear Dickies. They don't wear them like they used to wear them back in the day. But now they're more so like slim fit and stuff like that. But it's pretty dope. But uh, I, I ain't going to lie. I like this Rose Dickie shirt. That's not bad. We're not going to go too deep into all the clothing. But I'm just going to show you guys the brands that uh, they work with. I really didn't want to make this video too extensive, too long. But what I do notice is that the work stan socks are going to be in there once again and the funny thing about that is i didn't see stance on the actual uh brand sheet that was sent out during complex con which is really funny because maybe they're just going to be working with brands that work with the brands that they already work with you know what i'm saying so let's move on to the next brand i, I don't really want to hop into that because it's not its own entity um but check this out staple not gonna lie, Staple, I was looking through their stuff last night actually to like shop. <laughs> I don't know why, but they have a bunch of different stuff that's dope. Um, they got these King County tees. Now, a lot of people might say, oh man, I wonder how much all this stuff gonna cost in VC comparison. Like, I don't think it would be actually $50 worth of VC for a shirt like this. I'm hoping that 2K uh, tones down on the VC spendage uh, to help our pockets. You know what I mean? But this tie dye with the pigeon on it is pretty fly. Um, this is pretty fly, fly the little tie-dye logo. Um, for some reason, I'm into tie-dye, not like the regular conventional tie-dye, but I am into like different tie-dye colors, like yellows, blues, yellow, stuff like that. This Staples tee is fire. Like their tees are 100% fire. You know what I'm saying? But I'm, I'm not sure about their, uh, their pants too much. Um, speaking of which, let me go to the bottoms real fast because uh i want to show you guys the bottoms like i'm really not really a fan of the bottoms too much um I, I do notice that they have a lot of shorts which means 2k will probably add those in as well as joggers but i'm really not a fan of their denim their denim really doesn't scream my name you know what i mean so let's go ahead and move on to the next brand which is the biggest brand on the list to me that i am familiar with um i know a lot of people might have thought it was just Don, but no I am very familiar with Spray Ground. I've been, you know, supporting Spray Ground brand for a, a while now as far as being a street urban brand. Um, I'm not an affiliate, but I just like the way their stuff comes out. Their stuff always comes out dope. 
Now, uh, they sell a lot of stuff like bags, things of that nature. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to New Arrivals. They should have their space stuff out now because I got a text about that the other day. Yeah. So basically, they got the new Galaxy bags and stuff like that. And all of these new things are arrivals. I was about to cop this bag, but the bag is too small for me. All right, so moving on, check out this holster right here. Like, they, yo, people that like guns or that are into that, that holster is fire, not gonna lie. I almost copped this uh, Reflective Sharks and Paris Girls body, but I didn't. But um, I do want this Pitbull's chest piece. I'm probably gonna cop this later tonight. But um, yeah, they got a, they got so much stuff, man. I ain't gonna lie. Spray Ground, they make things, and then the resale value on uh, eBay and stuff like that is very, very high, man. I remember when the first Sharks and Paris book bag came out. Um, I almost copped that bag for $185 on eBay. Luckily, I was able to find it somewhere else. But yeah, they got a lot of stuff on Spirit Ground as far as bags and stuff like that. They have like small caps and stuff, but it's not too much extensive stuff. They've done collabs with other brands like Beep and stuff like that, which is dope. But um, let's go ahead and move on to Just Don. Now, Just Don, everybody knows who Just Don is, man. If you don't know who Just Don is, something wrong with you. Um, so basically, let's go ahead and hit shop because I, I don't want to shop by team. All right, let's, let's just go ahead and shop. All right, so let's go ahead and check out the bottoms first. These bottoms are insanely priced in real life. So I'm guessing as far as VC goes, you know that these are going to be stupid as far as the price goes. Like, come on, these striped boxing shorts are literally $575. I would never in my life pay any amount of money for these. I ain't going to lie, these is hard. <laughs> but I still wouldn't pay $350 for these. Um, as far as VC go, I'm going to go ahead to have to live through my my player. You know what I'm saying? I spend that VC on these. You feel me? But that's just me. Um, let's see. Let's uh shop. Let's see. Let's go outer wear for outer wear for a minute. Outer wear, not too much um on that. But I know for a fact that they're probably gonna go hard as far as the uh shorts go. You know what I mean? I don't think that all this stuff is gonna be in there. If it does. That's pretty dope, but let's check new arrivals real quick. Um, Just Don Legacy 312. I already know that they're going to have the Legacy brand in there. You know what I'm saying? Um, I actually have a pair of Legacies in my crib that I haven't worn yet. I just copped them just because um, I support Just Don itself. But um, this this Duncan Robot tee, I would literally cop that in-game as well. That would be a dope tee, but I would not spend $300 in real life. <laughs> but let's move on to the next brand, man. And oh my goodness, you already know who that is. Um... The funny thing, when I see, like, her in articles and stuff like that, I'd be like, man, I, I would never look at her, like, as, like, I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, because I knew her when she was a little kid, and she was already out of my age range. So, I, like, when people, like, when I be saying old heads, be like, oh, that Jenner, I'm like, bruh, like, you old as hell. Like, just because she turned 21, don't make her fair game, bruh. Like, ew. I, I just think it's nasty. I don't know. But um, I rock with these denim uh, jeans right here, not going to lie. But I would not spend $260 on them. Um, by the way, I'm not sure how to pronounce the brand, but I think it's like Kusibi. Kusibi, I'm, I'm really not sure, but they have a lot of different uh, jeans and stuff like that. And I ain't going to lie. In real life, I definitely wouldn't cop them. I would probably try to find like a brand that's a little bit cheaper. But in game, that, that don't seem that bad. Um, and they also have a women's collection, which um, if they do bring the women my players to the park, like they got they got some things out here. I don't think I would see a chick playing in the skirt, but maybe some uh, some of the tees or something. Yeah, maybe the tees. I, I like I can't see a chick rocking um, skirts at the park like. You know what I'm saying? I think that'd be against the rule. Oh, uh oh. Like all the um all the women out there, you know what I'm saying, that would probably want their belly out or something like that at the park, that'll probably be fire. You know what I'm saying? But uh that's like the only brand that I see right now that already started off with women. I know that, you know what I'm saying, uh Stable probably maybe has some uh maybe union clothing for women, but let's go back to the men's real quick and let's look at pants. Let's see if they'll they'll add like if they have any like joggers or something like I don't see dudes playing in none of these. I don't see them playing in anything. I want to know what their brand is gonna bring. Maybe they'll bring t-shirts or something like that. Maybe they'll bring t-shirts. Looking at their brand now, uh, I don't know why that. Maybe maybe these these solid colors. Maybe they'll bring that or or these right here. I'm trying to, I'm trying to really get a feel for this brand and and why they would be involved in 2K. Maybe. 
maybe the collab for this is more so like my player or my career story line where they wearing that type of clothing now this brand right here i was looking up some of their stuff last night uh yeah like let me go ahead and, and show you guys spring summer 2019 yeah so i don't understand any of it like i i literally don't like this is a brand that's supposed to be in paris and like literally i don't know what to click i don't know how to get to anything like you know what i'm saying like all of this stuff is just too elegant bro it's just too elegant like i mean let me let me click stores like look at this can't find a page you're looking for the url has been deleted i can return back to the home page but they do have some footwear here which um we can actually hopefully look at let me see see footwear is not clickable accessory is not clickable ready to wear um i'm gonna click on man i'm gonna look at t-shirts real quick yeah um my g I know, I, like, I know I get to be a 91 overall with my shirt off, but you're not going to have me wear that, though. You know what I'm saying? And definitely not for $275. But, yeah, like I was saying, these brands are crazy. Um, Look at this. They literally took a picture from, like, from Palm Trees in the Hood or something and put some text over it, and it cost $240. Yeah, um, VC-wise, I would probably wear a couple of these tees, but not long sleeve, maybe short sleeve. And, like, all this stuff is sold out. Like, this, this stuff is literally, like, very high price um let's check out pants that's the only pants they got everything is sold out um i'm not sure how they're gonna incorporate this brand but like i said maybe it's like a storyline maybe you'll go overseas or something like that I, I i truly don't know but um let's see sweatshirts and hoodies yeah like i don't know like where they're going with this brand but yeah let's move on <laughs> all right tracy mills um launched his own clothing label um if you guys don't know who tracy mills is he's a a friend of kanye he collabed with him back in the day but he was bringing out his own brand as well um it's called visitor on earth and that's the brand that we're talking about but when i was trying to look up visitor on earth the website was down for me i wasn't able to visit the website and as you guys see right here it is the um unlimited scrolling roll like it's gonna go forever but basically it's just a brand that was just something that he made up but this is literally like the content that they bring so these type of pants these type of jackets uh her shirt is tucked in we can't see but let's go ahead and check uh some more pictures like this brand this is like one of those hype beast type brands um you you spend rich money but you look a little more on the poor side but it's supposed to be drip and swag and stuff like that but yeah this is this is the brand right here um i think this was like his first release or something like that but yeah i mean it's, it's not nothing too crazy like look some real minimal you know what i mean like how much my t-shirt costs you don't even know like my t-shirt might be 350 you know what i'm saying even though it look like a five dollar t with some writing on the arm but that <laughs> that's just how it go but let's go ahead and move on to the next brand uh i believe this brand is called rude um let's go ahead and scroll down you guys see these uh track pants right here check out the hoodies um they got all different types of uh, high platform sneaks and stuff like that as well it's kind of it's a definitely a, uh like eccentric maybe but you know what i'm saying let's let's go ahead and uh click on it real quick let's i'm trying to figure out where the there it goes spring summer i don't want to hit play all right but i might have to let's see let's see what they actually have to offer like all right so this is the line right here like i don't my man like i don't know about this dude you know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't know about the drip. You know what I'm saying? My man got his pockets on the outside. I don't know about his drip. Like, he he look, you know what I'm saying? He look like the man right now, but I don't know. And he using the clamps that we hang up our clothes with on the line, but it's all good. Yeah, like, this, this is not my type of drip. Maybe this will make for great videos and stuff like that, like the glasses and stuff like that. Maybe, maybe some accessories and stuff, but yeah, I'm not really a fan. The belt is drip for sure, but... The whole get up though, like literally Old Town Road type get up, like that's not my, that's not my fit. All the cowboys out there that love dressing up like a cowboy at the park, that's definitely probably gonna be on some flyness. Um, looking like a um bright neo, maybe um from the Matrix. Cool. I'm not gonna lie, this shirt, that shirt is definitely drip. You know what I'm saying the shirt is drip. I like the the way the uh, jeans is cut up at the bottom. Um, the rude, uh, is that a, is that a short? I don't know if it's shorts. I think it might be shorts. 
um this japan type of vibe shirt you know what i'm saying that's not bad I, I don't know why they got the quilts on them this not bad i think the accessories with the socks will probably be fire the rude tee is not bad i think the socks will definitely be good accessories to add in anything else i think that's it all right so um let's go and see if all right my card is empty let me browse here so basically here go all the products and stuff like that these shirts are definitely fire you know what i'm saying not bad stuff but th look at the like come on 513 dollars like they're working with brands that are insane as far as prices go you know what i'm saying this is in real life so how much the vc gonna cost like look socks 54 dollars. you think i'm paying 54 dollars for a pair of socks huh <laughs> got me chopped uh let's see like bro look at you know what i'm saying some of this stuff is, is pretty nice but 496 dollars for some swim trunks yeah let's go ahead and move on to two hour set now two hour set is another brand that's uh a little bit more uh edgy you know what i'm saying let's go ahead and hit shop you already know who that is it just you know what i'm saying but uh this is be this is better wear for urban uh people as well as the price is more reasonable um you know what i'm saying and it's pretty dope uh two hour set has like a couple brand logos that they like you know what i'm saying like i like this two hour set you know what i'm saying sweatshirt i'm really not a sweatshirt guy but i will wear that sweatshirt um i would i would tear this bull you see this tie dye tee i tear this tie man i'll be i'll be killing them bro you know what i'm saying throw the gold chains over top you know what i'm saying get it popping all right let me see what this back to back all right on, all right let's see men's unisex all right okay so they got so they got sweatpants too they got they not considered really joggers they're really sweatpants to me i rock with the bomber but not for that price okay oh no 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 you know what this is a this is an alpha industries bomber so i understand the price you know what i'm saying i understand the price but i could i, I was on alpha uh, industries website like two months ago i just couldn't do it i couldn't do it i couldn't i couldn't bring myself to do it <laughs> you know what i'm saying but uh two hour set uh wear for the women park park wear for the women park, park wear oh you see the slings oh you see, li listen leggings shorts you know what i'm saying leggings long crop t-shirt listen chick's gonna be fly at the park man you know what I'm saying they even got the kids wear. Check out the check out the young boys. Yo, the $86 for a jacket for my son that's gonna grow out of that in a year. Nope. Not I. All right, we got three brands left. Um, Grungy Gentleman is a brand that I didn't know about. So from the information that I can find out about this brand is that it is basically linked to a lot of different actors athletes musicians as well as working with a bunch of different other affiliates and having partnerships with a lot of sports teams and brands now let's go ahead and go to the shop um i'm gonna go ahead and just start scrolling down stuff as you guys can see they're definitely into the mecca new york um you guys can already tell from the way that a lot of these designs are set up now a lot of these designs do have different feels to them you know what i mean where it's not just like that street brand that only has one logo and you know what i mean everybody will have it if they were walking down the street with it but you see this shirt right here walking triple double that's that's a t-shirt that would link with 2k so well and i know 2k so well and i know that they'll probably have it in there also you guys see that they do have a baseball partnership and um i want to show you guys the affiliates real quick before we move on to the next brand um the affiliates that they have like the the partners that they work with are all here man and um of course you guys see who sticks out to me i i know this jada kiss chic luch and uh the ghost immediately like when i was like oh that's thousand of them oh snap that's crazy but you notice like they have work with other people you know what i mean and some of their clothing is pretty good it's definitely price worthy you know what i mean like you won't break your pockets trying to actually buy this uh merch itself but yeah these are all the affiliates here but let's move on to the next one um you should know who diamond supply co is guys if you don't know who diamond supply co is you really don't be on karma loop and all that shopping and, and stuff like that but um basically this company has had a few different collabs they had a collab with astro boy which is really dope you see the astro boy socks they've also had a a, a dope collab with puma and you know how 2k is 2k likes to put things inside their game that is uh pretty limited you know what i'm saying but i know they'll probably build something out for 2k themselves they have sunglasses here they have socks um let's go ahead and look at the socks real quick 
Like, check out all these tie-dye socks here, man. Like, tell me 2K1 just go ahead and be like, yeah, let, let's use some of their socks for a moment. Um, also, they have dope t-shirts. Um, their bottoms I really don't like too much. Um, they also have pretty good headwear. But uh, let's go ahead and move into the last brand on the list. The last brand on the list is called Chinatown Market. As you guys can see, they, they, they run with that smiley face. This basketball, I would definitely see this inside of a 2K My Court. You know what I mean? Like, that'll be really dope. Also, you see that they had a collab with Puma. So, smiley uh, face from Chinatown Market is really huge right now. Uh, you know, just feeding the streets what they what they need. I'm really not into their bottoms. This basketball mini hoop, I would, I would see us with a smiley face backboard in my court. You know what I mean? But they have a lot of different things here. They even dabble in tennis and stuff like that. They have different color uh, smiley balls. But um, also, some of their things do get a little pricey on the site. They have a couple price-worthy items, but some of these other items do get a little crazy. Um, I don't want to... Matter of fact, you know what? Let's, let's check outerwear real quick. All right, so they got $90 hoodies. You know what I mean? Let's let's check uh, tops real quick. Forty dollar tops. That's not bad. That's not bad. But I've seen a couple um, things that were on the site that were really really high. Like these leopard sweatpants. That's two K vibe. You know what I'm saying? The smiley the smiley checkered sweatpants. That's two K vibe right there. The uh, Puma joints are definitely sold out. Now this right here. This is the brand that shows me. This is the upper echelon of it. Like look at this flannel. This flannel costs three seventy five. Most of this stuff must be limited edition. Like this denim jacket is three ninety five. That's crazy. Carnegie two ninety five. That's wild. You know what I'm saying? That's that's two thousand nine hundred and fifty VC right there. That's that's what. They, but that I ain't gonna lie. That clown crazy though. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I know it was extensive. I know we went through so many different brands. To be honest, the main issue that we're gonna run into is that vc man i don't know how much vc is going to cost i'm not sure when these brands will be working with 2k i know that a lot of them won't have stuff in store on day one because they'll have collabs and releases throughout the the actual lifespan of 2k20 but i can say that with all the stuff that we've seen in today's video i'm pretty hype about seeing what type of drip you can put on your player but to be honest it, it it's gonna have to be a lot of bottoms gonna have to be a lot of sneakers and a lot of accessories because trust me once we go shirtless who wants to go back you know what i mean so i hope you guys enjoyed the video big shout out to everybody again thank you guys for 600k and counting make sure you guys subscribe turn on the bell if you want notifications for the next videos and i'm gonna see y'all in the next one man peace yeah you can't watch this whole video without subscribing